This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Kualoa Ranch, where legends are made. Hey, what's up? You got Lanai with another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. And today in the kitchen, we've got a very special guest from the catering company, Memoirs, Peter Foster. Also does a lot of cooking up here at the ranch. He'll be using the grass-fed beef, the vegetables, even got a papillo from the fish pond. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you tasted all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chef Peter Foster. Thanks for coming in, my man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Or, or coming out. <laughs> How's that view? What a beautiful place to work, huh? And we've got beef yes. grown right here. I think a lot of the ingredients that we're going to use today are, are from here. Yeah. And you want to tell everybody exactly what you do? I know you do catering, but you do stuff here. Yeah, so we come here about once a month. We cater large corporate events. We uh -huh. do weddings. We do fundraisers. And today, we're going to be featuring a lot of stuff that comes right from here. That's awesome. So like this first dish, you can actually drive out, <clears throat> buy your own cool old beef, grass-fed, right, raised right here on Oahu. Well, let's get started. And take it home. That so, sounds awesome. What we do, let's get started with this. Let's do it. Okay. What, what, what part of the beef do we got here? This is going to be the top loin. OK. So I like, I like using this, especially for the nigiri, because it's going to be a little bit more lean. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a few pieces right here. Uh -huh. And then we're going to pound it out a little bit. OK. We've got this really great sushi rice that was milled a couple days ago. And I've got this ponzu that we made right here using ogo from the fish pond just to thicken it up a little bit. Now, for those of you, uh, we got a lot of viewers now on the mainland, you know, all over the world now. Sure. Uh, ogo seaweed or a limu, you know, it's a type of Hawaiian seaweed. Awesome to go with uh, any everything I everything like to with everything salad sashimi, exactly you know whatever yeah and so we were able to use tahitian lime ogo okay and show you and, right. and we we mortared and pestled it and so the we ogo got some rice it up a little bit yeah we got some rice right some here rice powder you need oh, a rice powder yeah it's a pretty sweet one <laughs> I'll use my hands for this part. Yeah, was, you know, we're making sushi, so you gotta use your hands, right? Okay, you wanna jump in? Yeah, I guess I should let's make one too. Let's I just make, I washed my hands, by the way, right before this. We're making six? Okay. Yeah, let's do you know, it. I've uh, I've never made, I've always made a roll, you know? How's so that size? For you. That's a bambucha. <laughs> but we, we, we this can is use, for me, right? Here, here, here. here. Switch. I need some water over here, okay. Just a little bit here. All right. All right. What's your technique? So, How's that? They look that's, all right. That's pretty good. Huh? The main thing is once you get the beef on it, that's I gotta when you're do gonna this? want to form it. I see you my can. sushi chef always doing this. You can. You're giving them lickings or something, huh? Okay. So what I like <laughs> to do is take it, just in one hand. And that's a little bit wide, huh? That's yours. How's that? That's gonna be yours. All right. I'm gonna use that plate right there. It's like a masubi right there. <laughs> that's what <laughs> I nice grew size. up eating. I like to just kind of form just it and make hand. sure I press it just okay. so it's staying together. Yeah. It's the shape of my hand. I'll put the rice here. Okay. And then I'll take the beef, and that's when I press. All right. Yeah, I need and some I water here. It. Give me some water here. Sure. Was this water supposed to be for my hands, I hope? Uh, that was my drinking water. <laughs> so how long have you been cooking? Oh, man. I've been cooking since I was 15. 15? So about 16 years. Uh-huh. Good for yeah. you. What's yeah. your favorite thing to make? Oh, fish. You know, but it's whatever comes out of the ground. Yeah? Really, whatever I can get that's fresh. Um, that's what I enjoy most. Yeah. So. You, do, you do a lot of events up here, right? We do. Yeah. We, we go all over the island. Kulo is special. Obviously, you've got this view. Yeah. And you've got a great ag operation, too. Yeah. These guys are growing so much stuff. And a, lot of, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually come up here and shop yes. for, uh, for produce and you for can this. get beef. Yes. Yeah. And, and you, got, uh, you, got, you got shrimp up here. Uh, I mean, you got, uh, you got everything up here. Saltwater prawns. Uh huh. And, and that's going to be a lot different. Those are beautiful. Those look better than me. Huh? I can get a job somewhere? You're hired. What do you think? <laughs> Not bad. OK. All right. Now, we're going to make uh, what goes on top. And that's going to be okay. pretty simple. OK, we got some scallions. All right. 
We've got wasabi, so everybody at home can. By the way, that's how good this beef is. You can eat it like this. Correct. You know? Correct. All right, so we got some scallions. We got a minute, about a minute left, chef. All right. You know we got to try to see if they can grow as wasabi. I know it's difficult. You need. I think you need cold weather, don't you? Yeah. 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 You need cold weather and, and good water. I wonder if there's a way there's somehow we can figure this out. All right. I love so. fresh wasabi. Me too. So how much wasabi are you putting in there? That's going to be about a teaspoon. Okay. And then we're going to put in a little bit of sesame seed. All right. Okay. Another teaspoon. Give or take. All right. Now what you can do is brush the beef. We got about 30 seconds. All right. I'm gonna brush the beef here. We got our, ourselves a paintbrush from Ben Franklin. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I, I knew already. I you, knew you already. shop there often. All right, how's okay. that look? Just like that? That looks great. Okay. And then I can't wait to taste this. This goes right on top. Beautiful. There you go. How simple was that? We're gonna put the full recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. When we come back, what are you making? That's gonna be the saltwater shrimp. All right that we got here from Kualoa Ranch. It's cooking Hawaiian style, we'll be right back. That looks beautiful. Let me do this one. All right, all right. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. We got Chef Peter Foster hanging out with us today. Uh, what are you gonna make next? Okay, so next we've got this heirloom eggplant. We've got this saltwater shrimp. Beautiful eggplant. And one thing I like about this dish is that we're gonna use the heads, and, okay. it, and it makes the sauce just this really great. That's the best part of the shrimp. Uh, th that's where the butter you, is. You know when you go sushi bar, you tell them, hey, make sure you don't throw away that head, you fry them up, all right? <laughs> nice knife skills. And these uh, shrimp are from here. Yep, these yep. shrimp are raised in saltwater ponds. So that's gonna be a little different than your, your North Shore shrimp. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Taylor was telling me how they filter the water through Lois before it actually goes out to the ocean. So nice. I like how they, they take care of the environment at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got one uh, eggplant. I got one eggplant going, going over there. That should be enough for the two of us. Okay. Again, this is an heirloom eggplant. Yeah. And this is what's gonna take the most time. Yeah. So we're gonna start that first. After okay. that, we're gonna make our sauce. All right. So we got onions, we got garlic. Go ahead and cut that lime. All right, how do you need it? Just right in half. Oh, just right in half? Yep. Okay. And I'm cooking with coconut oil today. Okay. It'll be kind of I like using in. coconut oil. It's a right. better alternative. We got how many cloves of garlic in there? That's about three. Okay. I'll get this out of your way. One shallot. One shallot. Smells good already. How many shrimp are we going to use? How many do you want to use? Let's use all of them. Let's use all of them. All right, if you are uh, looking for shrimp. It's going to be like eight. You got to come and try the Kualoa Ranch shrimp. And you can get it here, I, I believe, what is it, every Monday? They'll let yeah. you know what's on the list for exactly. sale for the week? Exactly. You put your order in, you uh -huh. come by, you pick it up, you go home, you've got saltwater shrimp from Oahu. And you got to come early. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you, yeah, you, it, it goes it's pretty It's becoming quick. very popular. Okay. You know, not just with chefs, but I think the public. All right, so we got those shrimp heads in there. Now the shrimp heads are in there. Okay. And I'm going to get these nice and red. All right. After that, we're going to deglaze with sake. Okay. And I'll need some butter. Now, what kind of sake do you use? So everybody always asks, like, when we talk about using, you know, any kind of uh, liquor, like wine or whatever, how much, what kind, you know? So this is Junmai. Okay. It's going to be a drier sake. Um, I'm also going to use fish sauce, so okay. the two together are going to kind of compete for flavor. All right. There's the sake that we're putting in. How much? It's going to be about half a cup. Okay. Okay, so I've done my deglaze, and you can already kind of see this that looks nice good. redness it coming good. out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to keep that going. We got about two minutes left to finish up this dish here. Now you got the long eggplant and then you got these. You, it, does it matter? The Japanese eggplant, it can you use that? It doesn't matter. This okay. is what uh, Taylor gave us. Okay, we're using Again, from what we got fresh, right? Yeah, heirloom eggplants. Yeah. Super, super good. And I like to add a little bit of citrus. Okay. Okay. Nice. And then we're gonna do a little bit of salt from koi. There you go. Okay. That, is, that smells ono. Yeah. What's your, what's your smell, favorite dish to make? This. Whatever's coming out of the ground. Yeah. But whatever. whatever I, yeah, there you, has to be you, one comfort food, though, that you're like, I always make. That one thing you always make more than any other. 
I wish there was. Maybe yeah. we, maybe you can you share yours with rice. me later. <laughs> I just make rice, bro. Mine is cooked rice. All right, can we finish this in a minute? Yeah, yeah. Right, we got about a minute left. All right, let's swap the heat out here. Okay. Seems like that's our hotter burner. All right. All right. We're gonna add in some fish sauce. That's the the patis or the fish the sauce. Patis. You can get it at any Asian market. Look in the Asian section if uh, you don't have an Asian market near you. Uh, we're gonna okay. half a half a thing of butter. And it's gonna be a tablespoon half. of butter. Tablespoon on the one okay. side. And I'm gonna add a little bit here, and this is just gonna be for the shrimp. Okay. All right, so let's get the shrimp going. You can smell that patis. Yeah, it smells awesome. All right, let's bust our plates onto the cutting board. All right. Smelling good. And we're gonna finish this by putting this on the plate. Uh-huh. Shrimp on top and then the sauce. Okay. I think when we uh, we gotta take a little break. When we come back, we're gonna see what that finished product looks like. Sounds okay? good. Don't go anywhere. We're making some cool Aloha shrimp today with uh, everything from the garden. It's uh, Chef Peter Foster hanging out with us on Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. Smells awesome, bro. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. Chef, we just finished doing the uh, Kualoa shrimp mm -hmm. with the eggplant. That looks beautiful. Hey, thanks. Yeah, so you just have, you plated it. I wish we could have showed everybody, but just eggplant first. We put the eggplant, then we put the shrimp, the head, and the sauce. Awesome. What are we going to make next? Next, we've got this papillo. Uh-huh. Beautiful fish. Here's the filet right here from Kualoa. They get them out of the, the, uh, the fish pond. Yeah. And what do you got here? Black sapote. Now this is sapote. Beautiful. Yeah. What is a sapote? It's a fruit. Okay. Um, and it's originating from Mexico. All right. They believe that the Aztecs, which called it zapoto, my director's going to be happy it. with this because we never make anything from his country. He's like, can you make tacos? No, no tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you just scrape out the middle. What, what is this similar to? It looks like pudding. It's like pudding. Yeah. It's like this jet black fruit. This is a really nice one, actually. Now, if you can't find this, can you use substitute something else? You could no. use white sapote, which is a little more popular. Okay. Um, but there's no Do you see this in Hawaii this. at all? I mean, everywhere. I mean, here right I here. know, but like, yeah. would you find it at any grocery no. store? Okay. No. So this is probably one of the few things that you're going to have trouble making. <laughs> but we're still going to put the recipe on our website. You can always come here to Kualoa. Yeah, and you can get it here. So you're using a half, half of one. Half, half of, of one. Sapote, okay. Yep, we're going to use half. What did you put in there? That's Hawaiian chili and garlic. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of Hawaiian salt as you're going. All right. And also a little bit of Tahitian lime juice. Tahitian lime juice. All from here. How much, uh, just about a tablespoon of each? About that. Okay. Okay. Pinch next. Taste. next Hard to got... ask a chef, you know, how much because it's always to taste, right? Because we don't know. What <laughs> do you got next? Next, we've got these broccoli leaves. Okay. So I'm going to start these going. I love broccoli leaves. I don't think I think they're underused. You know, I a agree. lot of people don't use them all the time. They just use the broccoli. You know, the star of the show. So I tried to leave the broccoli for the other chefs uh -huh. on the show. Uh, and, you, <laughs> and you took all the leaves. Smart. And I took all the leaves. Don't waste nothing. All right. How how well do you want this? Keep going. Keep going, okay. Keep going. I mean, you'll see. We're going to take some more of these beautiful carrots that are also from here. Those got carrots look good, man. Yeah, gosh, look at these. Look at the color. Yes, yeah, awesome. So vibrant. I'm going to put those face down. Okay, we'll just put Again, some coconut oil. Coconut oil. We're going to take the broccoli leaves. Nice. Okay, and that's just all going to sweat together. Okay. Good. The carrots I'm gonna are going to roast. Sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. more. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, we're doing some filet. What are we Papillo. doing with the filet? Papillo. Real simple. Salt, pepper. I've got some kawaii salt here. When you get fish from Hawaii, you can't overdo it. You got to just keep it as simple as possible. Or Where did pepper go? Taking away from all that taste, you know. We've got about a minute left, chef. All right. Tell me if I need to put more muscle in this. Are we go still nah, going? You're good, you're good. I can't wait to taste this. I've never tasted this. So. It haunts my dreams. I mean, it's this, it's All right. this texture, it's this flavor. If we don't Pretty have papillo, what, what do you suggest? Don't eat. <laughs> Was that what you were going to say? No, don't I like, eat. I mean, I like manchong, I like uh -huh. mahi, line cot. Um, okay. We also had toal coming from here. Nice. And again, you just call the guys 
fish pond. They'll pull it for you. Yeah, so if up. you guys don't know what a fish pond, the Hawaiians made a fish pond at the end of the Ahupua'a, right at the bottom of the ocean. It's like a two to three foot high rock wall. And it was really the Hawaiian refrigerator. You know, we grew limo or ogo inside. Fish would smell it, swim in the gate. We close the gate and there you go. All these fish in there. We got thousands of fish in this fish pond or maybe millions. You I'd know? say thousands, but I mean, yeah. they are beautiful. All right, they we got are. about 30 seconds, chef. All right, let's get those bowls out in front of us. feel like you're on a game show now, huh? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and cook. All right. Okay, that's good. That looks and basically, good. we're going to end up by plating this. And that's it, pretty much, huh? Well, yeah, we're going mean, to style it a little out. more. These yeah. are going to keep going. But I mean, as far as ingredients, put a little sake in there. All right, when we come back, we're going to finish up this dish, OK? So don't go anywhere. We got Chef Peter Foster hanging out with us. Cool little ranch. It's cooking Hawaiian style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. We're just finishing up this papil. That looks beautiful, Chef. Thank you so much. We added a little bit of wine in there at the end, right? Yeah, a little okay. bit of wine, a little bit of butter. Yeah, and the fruit, what's the name of the fruit? Sapote. Sapote. Black chocolate sapote. All right, let's go ahead and start our next dish. What are you going to make? Let's it? finish this Oh, we're going to finish this? Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Real quick, there. what do we dump it on there? Oh, yes, the sauce. That's the sauce. That's the most important part of it, the sauce. Thank you Let's so much. What's the next dish we're going to make? OK, grass-fed kulo beef grilled with ulu fries. Ooh, so, my favorite, ulu. For those of you who don't know what ulu is, it's breadfruit. And uh, you know how I like to have my ulu? Hmm. Pounded, pa'iai style. But That's I eat it anyway. Too. That's good, too. Now, everyone's starting to use it now. Love that. Now, we're looking at the Kualoa Ranch beef. It comes in a package like this. You can actually get it here at the ranch. Uh, if if you, you order it, can you order it? You can it, order it. It goes by fast. It's good price. You can order it or you can pick it up retail right here down at the shop. And that's what we're using here today. Thanks to the guys at Kualoa Ranch and work so hard to make that grass-fed beef. This is a very big ranch. People don't realize how big this place People is. People don't realize that you can come here and actually buy. Yeah. You can go shopping. Beef raised on Oahu. Yeah. All right, here's the ulu. You know, when I was growing up, you could throw this whole thing right on your fire, right on the, right on the fire if you're barbecuing or whatever, and, and just cook it that way. You can bake it. You can fry it. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with it. This is probably one of the biggest I've ever seen. <laughs> this is a nice one. So we're making fries today with this. Okay. And of course, we'll fry up a bunch for the crew. Now, you got a... Uh, um, a little thick layer of skin. Does that make sense? A little yeah, thick layer I, of skin? I think so. That doesn't so, make sense. You got a, a thick skin on this thing, so you can either leave it on or take it off when people cook it. I like to take mine off. Are you leaving yours on? I like to leave it on. It gives it that kind of home fry feel. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is drop that into some oil. All right. Get that frying. Any kind of oil you use? Any suggestions? Some uh, kind, I like to fry peanut oil. oil. Fried like peanut oil? I like to fry peanut oil. It's got a higher smoking point. Let's get that mortar and pestle. All right. Which is over there on the corner of our table. Okay. And this will kind of hold here for now. There you go. Great. I and just want to show, uh, while you're doing that, if, if I can just grab this from you. Yeah. I just want to show people what this looks like on the inside of, uh, of the ulu. So we're just going to, what are you cutting up there? Carrot tops from the last dish. Okay. Parsley, also from Kualoa. Again, trying to use everything in the dish. All right. right in there. So we got mac nuts, Hawaiian chili. Okay. About a quarter cup of mac. Maybe one chili. All right. Tablespoon each of uh, garlic and ginger. And some ginger. Olive oil. There you go. All right. How much olive oil? That's about half a cup. Okay. Put some citrus in there. We'll get some citrus. And while that's happening, we're going to start cutting up our jabong. All right. Now, tell everybody what a jabong is. This is another very local fruit. <laughs> it's a citrus. Yeah, another type of citrus, like a, like a grapefruit, I guess you would yeah, say, right? These ones are so sweet, though. Yeah. I love it. So what we're going to do, Lanai, is that I need you to juice that one out of, with this juice. Yeah, let me see if I can fit, <laughs> fit that one in there. I'm kidding. <laughs> Take you the skin <laughs> off. Sure, why not? All right. How much do you need? Just as much as I can put in there? We're going to skin it, and then we're going to quarter it. OK. OK, so these fries should be done in time. How long do you want to do the fries? Four minutes. Four minutes. All right, we're going to put these recipes again on our website, 
um, so you get all the exact time and of course uh, the exact ingredients all right so I think what we're gonna try to do is uh, finish this up uh, real quickly all right and uh, just what how many you want to put how much juice you want to put in there it's not a whole lot in there it's more dry right yeah but these ones are really sweet so that's gonna yeah. add the sweetness to what we're doing so and I, then well, you're gonna take this okay and I'm gonna muddle he gives me all muddling. the hard work all right. You got all when we muscle. come back, we're gonna finish this up. I'm gonna show you what it looks like muddled. So don't go anywhere. It's cooking Hawaiian style right here at Kualoa Ranch. You make me do the hard work, yeah, chef. Yeah. Welcome back, Cooking Hawaiian Style Chef. This was amazing. You deep fried the ulu that we got here locally at Kualoa Ranch. We got some of that Kualoa beef that you're slicing up. I'm just gonna try some of this. I, I love the shrimp here with the eggplant. What else did you put on there? That's got fish sauce. Patis. Patis and the shrimp head. Awesome. That yeah. looks amazing. We did the uh, the, the beef, uh, nigiri, yep. with the little ponju on the top. And then now the sauce that you make for the steak right on the top there. Go to our website and check out cookinghawaiianstyle.com. We're going to thank the Kualoa Ranch for all these amazing, amazing things. I mean, fruits, vegetables, you name it. Come down and buy it and check them out. This is Chef Peter Foster. Thank you, brother. Thanks for having me. Join us next time on Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. Ahui ho. Ahui ho. Amazing. This is Ono.